the Akatsuki probe, a cornerstone of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's JAXA efforts in planetary science, currently represents humanity's sole operational mission to Venus. Recently, this crucial link to our celestial neighbor fell silent, stirring concerns and curiosity within the scientific community. As we stand on the brink of potentially losing this valuable window into Venus's veiled atmosphere, it's crucial to assess the situation. In this video, we will explore the implications of this silence, revisit the significant contributions of the Akatsuki probe, and discuss what the future holds for Venus exploration. The Akatsuki probe, launched by JAXA in 2010, has been a crucial asset in our exploration of Venus. However, in late April 2024, JAXA announced that they had lost contact with Akatsuki. The loss of communication was due to an extended period of low attitude stability control mode, which affects the probe's ability to maintain a stable orientation and communicate with Earth. When Akatsuki went silent, it raised significant concerns within the scientific community. The probe's inability to stabilize itself means it cannot properly point its antenna toward Earth, thus losing its communication link. This stability control mode is essential for the probe's operation, as it allows the spacecraft to keep its instruments and communication systems oriented correctly. JAXA is currently making efforts to re-establish contact, but the situation remains uncertain. If these efforts are unsuccessful, it will mark the end of a mission that has greatly contributed to our understanding of Venus. This probe's mission has already exceeded expectations. Originally planned for a 4.5-year mission, the probe has been operational for nearly a decade. This extended mission phase began in 2018, showcasing the resilience and problem-solving capabilities of Japanese Space Agency engineers. Despite facing initial setbacks, such as failing to enter Venus's orbit on its first attempt, the probe has proven to be a valuable asset in the study of Venus. The loss of this probe would leave a significant gap in our observations of Venus. As the only active probe currently orbiting the planet, it provides unique and continuous data on Venus's atmosphere and weather patterns. This data is crucial for understanding the extreme greenhouse effect that makes Venus the hottest planet in our solar system. Without this probe, our ability to monitor and study these phenomena in real time would be severely limited. So, can JAXA re-establish contact with the Akatsuki probe? There's a real possibility. This isn't the first time Akatsuki has faced significant challenges, suggesting a good chance it might reconnect. Akatsuki's primary mission was to study the atmosphere of Venus, particularly its cloud dynamics and weather patterns. Equipped with five onboard cameras, the probe has provided unprecedented images and data on the Venusian atmosphere. These instruments have allowed scientists to observe phenomena such as the planet's super rotation, where the atmosphere rotates much faster than the planet itself, and the presence of large-scale stationary waves in the clouds. One of the most significant findings from this probe has been the detailed study of Venus's atmospheric circulation. The probe's observations have revealed complex and dynamic weather systems that are influenced by the planet's thick atmosphere and extreme greenhouse effect. In addition to studying atmospheric dynamics, Akatsuki has also provided valuable data on the composition of Venus's clouds. The probe's instruments have detected the presence of various gases and aerosols, including sulfuric acid, which forms the planet's thick, reflective clouds. These observations have helped scientists better understand the chemical processes occurring in Venus's atmosphere and their impact on the planet's climate. The data collected by this probe has not only advanced our understanding of Venus, but has also provided a comparative context for studying other planets, including Earth. By observing the extreme conditions on Venus, scientists can gain insights into the processes that drive climate and atmospheric dynamics on other planets. This comparative planetology is crucial for developing models and theories that can be applied across different planetary environments. Akatsuki's mission underscores the importance of international collaboration in space exploration, as its insights into Venus have enriched the global scientific community, shaping future missions by various space agencies. This cooperative approach enhances our collective knowledge and capabilities.
The potential loss of Akatsuki underscores the need for future missions to continue our exploration of Venus. NASA has planned two significant missions, Da Vinci and Veritas, aimed at further exploring Venus. However, these missions are not scheduled to launch until 2029 and 2031, respectively. The Da Vinci, Deep Atmosphere Venus Investigation of Noble Gases, Chemistry, and Imaging Mission is poised to transform our understanding of Venus's atmosphere by analyzing its composition, especially focusing on noble and trace gases to deduce the planet's origins and history. It will also deliver high-resolution surface imagery, revealing geological features and processes. As it descends through Venus's dense atmosphere, Da Vinci will provide a detailed vertical atmospheric profile, allowing for an in-depth study of the complex interactions within these harsh conditions. The other mission, Veritas, Venus Emissivity, Radio Science, INSAR, Topography, and Spectroscopy, will complement Da Vinci by focusing on Venus's surface and interior. Using radar and infrared spectroscopy, it will map the surface of Venus in high detail, revealing its topography, composition, and tectonic activity. This mission will study the planet's geologic history, including the processes that have shaped its surface over time. By understanding Venus's geologic activity, scientists hope to gain insights into Earth's own geologic processes and history. Together, Da Vinci and Veritas will provide a comprehensive understanding of Venus's atmosphere, surface, and interior, building on the legacy of Akatsuki and ensuring that our quest for knowledge about Venus continues. These missions will help also address fundamental questions about the divergent evolutionary paths of Earth and Venus, despite their similar size and composition. In addition to NASA's missions, other space agencies are also planning their own explorations of Venus. The European Space Agency is preparing the Envision mission, which aims to study Venus's atmosphere, surface, and interior with a suite of advanced instruments. It will focus on understanding the planet's geologic history and its current geologic activity, as well as the interactions between its atmosphere and surface. India is also planning a mission to Venus, called Shukrayan-1, which will study the planet's atmosphere and surface using radar and infrared instruments. The collaboration between different space agencies will ensure a continuous stream of data and new discoveries about our planetary neighbor. In conclusion, while the potential loss of Akatsuki is a setback, it also serves as a reminder of the importance of sustained exploration and the continuous advancement of space technology. The upcoming missions by NASA, ESA, and India, among others, will ensure that our exploration of Venus continues. As we look to the future, these missions promise to unlock new secrets of Venus and enhance our understanding of planetary science as a whole. So, what do you think happened to Akatsuki? Drop your theories below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic updates. Thank you for joining us in this exploration, and stay tuned for more updates on our cosmic neighborhood.